Hi guys, Chad Trofgerben here. Welcome back to the Steve and the Alien Anime Studio tutorial series. For this shot, we want to have Steve find his hamburger and then look up to see that he is about to crash into a boulder. This is actually going to be pretty simple, especially since we have done a lot of the work already between the first and second shot. So first, I recommend that you open up either the first or second Steve shot that you've done. If you had to choose, I would say the first shot is probably the best because that way you don't have to go through and map the hamburger back to the hand since it's already done in the first shot. So once you've done that, go to File and Save As and just make sure that you save your file so that it is different than that of the first or second shot and then hit Save. And now we can get started with this. We first want to eliminate all of the animation from Steve. So click on the Steve layer and then go up to your animation and choose clear animation from layer and hit yes. And we want to do the same with the camera movement. So we can just come down here to the timeline and remove all these keyframes by highlighting them and hitting the delete button. And all of this should be very familiar since this is what we did last time for the second shot when he loses the hamburger. Now let's advance forward to frame one and we can take now the manipulate bones tool with the Steve character and just kind of bring some things down like this and of course scoot him over like that. And we can bring his head up just a bit. And we should probably also bring his eyes back if they aren't already for you. So I'll just go into my Steve layer and right click on the pupils and turn those on as well as the eye switch. And for the pupil switch, I'll take the translate layer tool and just move it down like that. Okay, so now I also want to adjust the mouth. Now for the animation portion, He's driving and we'll probably do about two seconds of him reaching for the hamburger. So I can advance forward one second and we can just kind of do a couple of adjustments here with the body. Kind of going like that. And we can go down again. Like so. So it's kind of looking like this. Now at about two seconds in, we will have him smile and bring the hamburger up. So right about here, we can right click on the mouth and choose smile. And then he can sit back up. So we'll then just click on this and bring him back up like that. Um, also, we want to translate the layer as well so we can click on the translate layer tool and make sure we insert a keyframe before he gets up so we don't have any weird animations going on here and then we can just move him over like that and also too when he comes up like this we will bring the hand up like that to show that he has the hamburger or actually we want the other hand to come up wrong hand I forgot we want this hand to come up because as he just found the hamburger this hand can stay down like that. So he finds it, he's happy. And we might even want to slow that animation down a little bit just by putting those frames up a little bit more like that. So he finds it. And then at about frame 66, we can have his eyes shift forward. So we'll click on frame 66 to to put that keyframe in, and then we just advance forward and we have him look up like that. And then at about frame 76, we will switch his mouth to the open position, and we will now zoom in with the camera. But before we do that, let's back up and do the camera movements, and then we can lead into that zoom in shot. So let's start here at frame one, and we will click on the scene with our camera tool, as well as the zoom in tool to create those keyframes. And we can just move forward here now, and we can do the car bump effect. 
and we'll do this to about frame 96 like that so now when we do the zoom in shot which will occur at frame 76 we'll make sure we insert keyframes there just by clicking for both the move and the zoom in camera tools and we'll do a fast zoom in like this to about frame 82 like that so just zoom in and there we go so now we want to reduce our frames here to 96 so we'll just make sure we do that by just writing in 96 on that portion of the timeline and that is all we really have another thing we could do too is when he opens his mouth if you want you could adjust the eyebrows as well so we can just zoom in here and click on the translate layer tool and click on those and then when we zoom in we can just put the eyebrows up like this just to kind of give it a little bit more of a shocked look to his face and just one more thing that has occurred to me here just snapping back here to the beginning when we page forward I should probably bring this arm forward a little bit since it doesn't really look like he's digging for anything with this arm so I'll just grab that Steve layer and just bring it forward like this and then just like that and like that so we just kind of have some movement there with that arm and then he finds it and then that looks better okay so now that concludes our animation and I can play it back one more time just in full just so we can see what it looks like he's digging he finds it and then he's shocked okay so once you have completed all that just make sure you go to file and save and then file export animation export it out check it out make sure it looks fine and then save it in your folder so we can use it in a little bit here when we start editing everything together Anyway, that does it for me. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.